So we looked at the Eric Trump clips from the Reawaken America tour. Let's now look at one Michael Flynn clip. Michael Flynn is the former national security advisor to the failed former president, Donald Trump. Flynn uh, was uh, convicted and ultimately pardoned by Donald Trump. He showed up and he said Trump is currently the president. Trump, not Trump should be president, not Trump won, but they didn't give it to him. He is saying Trump currently is the president of the United States and people believe it and people cheer. And I still say it in wherever the damn live stream is, you know, Donald Trump is still the president of the United States. They can call me whatever they want. There it is right there. Yeah, they can call me whatever they want because there's no way in the world that 81 million. I don't see 81 million people wearing build back better hats. <laughs> That's because there's no cult around Biden. People just want a calm, normal president and they want to live their lives. OK, so there's Michael Flynn. Uh, you know, one of the things I genuinely wonder if Trump is currently the president. Why aren't they blaming Trump for the high gas prices? If they believe the president is responsible for inflation and they believe Trump is currently the president, this is sort of like basic logic. The president is responsible for inflation. Trump is the president. Therefore, Trump is responsible for inflation. It's uh, along the same lines. The question must be asked if Trump's currently president, he obviously can't run in 2024 because that would be his third term and we don't allow third terms here. Oh, no, no, no. But that's it's selective blame assignment selective belief in reality. And um, this I I don't know how we fight that. In any kind of substantive way, we just have to outvote them. There's no other way. There's no, hey, come over to our side. The, these beliefs are so extreme and so far gone that I don't know how. I mean, just think it's it's middle of May. The elections in early November. How, how do we mass deprogram these people and get them to see reason between now and then? It does, I just don't know of how we do it. And so far, nobody we've interviewed has been able to tell me. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you think there's any way we might be able to.